the lookout for Debbie. She will make an appearance somewhere in the story. Once upon a chilly time in the North Pole, where snowflakes danced in the air like winter fairies, there was Santa's factory. It was a place filled with candy cane conveyor belts, gumdrop buttons, and giggling elves <laughs> working their Christmas magic. Santa Claus, the jolliest fellow with a twinkle in his eye, no. led a team of super-duper helpers called elves. These elves had pointy hats, pointier ears, and the fastest gift-wrapping fingers in the Arctic. Outside the factory, Santa's special reindeer, led by the shiny-nosed Rudolph, were practicing their flying skills. They couldn't wait for Christmas Eve, the most magical night of the whole year. But in the shadows lurked a naughty little elf named Bardo. Bardo was tired of candy canes and tinsel. He wanted to be in charge of Christmas himself. So with a mischievous grin, he hatched a plan to mess up Santa's sleigh. When Santa and the super duper elves rushed outside to see what that big noise was, they found out it was too late. Bardo, the silly elf, had messed up Santa's sleigh. Santa, being the super smart hero he is, called an emergency elf meeting and came up with a plan. Santa hopped into a shiny red car and the elves loaded it up with presents. Santa drove all the way to the south end of the North Pole and loaded the presents into his little red airplane and took off into the night sky. Next, they set sail on a sparkly boat with candy cane sails. They sailed through frosty waters, tossing gifts onto the shore for children to find. They zoomed through the starry night, traveling all around the world. Evil Bardo, watching from his sneaky spot, was so frustrated. His plan didn't work. Santa found new ways to deliver joy to everyone.